Hi, it's Nikki here, and today I'm talking about sugar and sugar alternatives. Now, you may be thinking about giving up sugar, either for Lent or to lose some weight or just to get healthier, because we know now that uh, sugar is one of the biggest threats to, to health, to human health. Not only is it uh, going to contribute to heart disease, obesity, but obviously it's a big risk factor for diabetes, and it's a huge disruptor to your hormones. Won't even go, I've done other videos on blood sugar, just check those out. But what do you do when you're trying to give up sugar? It's quite actually quite difficult because sugar is so ingrained in everything uh, that, that we see food-wise in the supermarkets, in the, in the processed foods, in foods that we actually think are quite healthy. Um, and, the, and it's pretty much everywhere. You can't really avoid it. So how do we give it up? Well, there are four categories of sugar that um, you need to be aware of. First one is obviously refined sugar, table sugar that you're adding to um, cups of tea or putting on your porridge or whatever. Um, the second one is carbohydrates, refined carbohydrates in particular. Carbohydrates are just long chains of sugar and they just break down a little bit quicker. But actually um, things like white bread and brown bread actually break down just as quick as normal sugar, if not quicker. So when you think of sugar, also think of white stuff, right? White rice, white potatoes, white bread and pastries, stuff like that. That is gonna, it's just pure sugar at the end of the day. And it's gonna have the same effect. The third category is hidden sugars. Now this is what I was talking about in processed foods, in yogurts, in drinks, in lots of things actually that are marketed as quite healthy. You just have to look at the label to see the amount of sugar in there. And if it's got sort of, I, I sort of go by the rule of more than about eight or nine grams per hundred, you really want to be avoiding it. Or if you look at the ingredients label and it's sugar is one of the top three ingredients, do not put it in your shopping basket if you're avoiding sugar. And the fourth um, category is natural sugars found in fruits um, and food. So um, those are, that's the, the fourth category is the one where um, you should really be focusing on. But, you know, if you're going to be reducing sugar or giving it up, giving it up, you need to avoid all four, really, um, and really keeping your grams as low as possible. Um, if you're just avoiding the worst of the sugars, then those top three categories is where you want to be looking. Now, um, the other thing I wanted to mention is not to be tempted to switch to diet foods or no added sugar. That's a classic. Yeah, no added sugar, but what are you putting in it instead? <laughs> and often they've got artificial sweeteners in, which are really, really disruptive to your hormones. So please, please avoid those. And they actually act in the body a bit like sugar. So your body doesn't really know the difference in terms of blood sugar, etc. So yeah, to be avoided. So what do we do? Are there any alternatives that are worth uh, having? And, and th there are a lot of alternatives out there that are jumping on the uh, anti-sugar bandwagon and claiming to be a healthier alternative. But at the end of the day, sugar is sugar, right? But there are some sugars that are preferable to those refined sugars. Um, so these are the ones that, that I've done a bit of research on and I just wanted to go through quickly today. I've also got a blog on this, so I'll put a link underneath and you can read it all for yourself if you um, wanted something in writing. So these are the ones to absolutely avoid. White and brown sugar. Totally processed, refined, nothing going for it whatsoever. <laughs> and the next one is fructose. Now, initially it was thought to be healthier because it had a low GI index. And we were, I remember buying packets of fructose thinking I was being healthy. But fructose goes straight to your liver and it can be very damaging and also de deposits as fat. So it contributes to the to fatty liver, which is something you definitely don't want. Okay, so avoid fructose. Honey, now honey is a natural food but then it gets processed. So processed honey may seem like a good option, but all the goodness has really gone out of it. And what, what you've got left is kind of pure sugar. So we, won't, we don't want to be going for processed honey. Agave syrup, mm. <laughs> marketed as the healthy alternative to sugar and honey. It's not, it's pure fructose, highly processed, and it's going to go straight to your liver and do lots of damage. So please avoid agave, okay? The last one is uh, evaporated cane juice. Now, it's often included in packaged foods. It's just sugar cane syrup in disguise. So watch out for that on the label. Now, what are the preferable ones? Now, of course, 
be bear in mind that sugar is sugar okay so this has to be in moderation if you're giving it up then you really want to avoid these as well but if you're just reducing then these might be a good alternative in moderation so raw honey in its raw form honey retains um, you know more nutrients and antioxidants so a little bit of raw honey is good now all the supermarkets now sell raw honey so just look look for it on the label maple syrup especially organic maple syrup is a good alternative to other sugar products it doesn't go through that much processing and it has a good nutrient profile. Again, try and buy organic and the darker versions are more nutrient dense. We've got coconut sugar. Now, this is a new thing on the market and it's a bit trendy at the moment. Um, it's also known as coconut syrup or nectar. Um, and it is rich in nutrients, just like the coconut and it is quite low GL, but it still contains a bit of fructose. So use sparingly. Then we've got stevia or stevia. Now, in its natural form, it's a green powder. It's a plant, green plant with, that's powdered down. And it's an excellent um, sweetener if you can handle the bitter taste of it. Some people don't like that at all. And I find it, I don't know, sometimes it's okay, but I, it's not my favorite. But it's been um, ruined, as usual, by the food industry, and it's been processed. Now, there's white versions of it now that the big companies use um, so, uh, to be avoided. So in its, full, in its natural form, yes, go for it. But it's quite bitter. Um, dates or date syrup. This is a good alternative for, especially for baking. Um, and you can make a paste by soaking the fruits. But again, it's dried fruit, very sugar rich, so use sparingly. Blackstrap molasses is another one. It's made by boiling sugar cane. So a lot of the sugar is actually boiled off and the remaining um, syrup is quite nutrient rich. So it's quite a good alternative. Things like golden syrup if you're making flapjacks or something like that. Brown rice syrup is made by fermenting brown rice. So it is lower GL than sugar and it's quite good for baking. Um, and you can get it in organic form as well. Um, xylitol, this, is one, this has been a popular one. And also erythritol and sorbitol. Now these are sugar alcohols and they're not digested by the body so they don't generally raise your blood sugar but they are quite highly processed and they can cause digestive issues so best use in moderation and also avoided if you have digestive issues they are also very highly toxic to dogs didn't know that <laughs> and then the last one that's new on the market as well it's something called yakon syrup now i haven't tried this personally but apparently it's uh, all the rage in america and uh so far, it's coming up quite good. It's not made with chemicals. Um, it's low GL and it's rich in probiotics. So and it's looking like it might help with weight loss as well. So cool. Now, there are lots and lots of names for sugars as well that you need to look out for. Check out my blog. I've got a whole list of them as well as some art artificial sweetness. So I really hope that was useful if you're giving up sugar for any reason, which is always a good thing. And um, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye bye.